Welcome back to the fall. Might as well have my intro while just walking back. Since we're just gonna walk back all the way to the new area and all that stuff. So, didn't get an achievement when I quit the, uh, the game last time. And I'm not sure if that's because I, like, the question now is, is that because I didn't get an achievement? Or because I got an achievement and it didn't even register at all because of the, the public beta? Who knows, like, maybe there would have been an achievement for killing all the bots, was what I was thinking, but maybe not. So I'm gonna just keep it for this episode as well, and see if I hopefully achieve something, would be nice. And, uh... Right, also, I forgot... Ooh, wow, this is shining now. I forgot to even show last time I meant to open the Steam overlay, which I believe you can see, recorded and all that. And, yeah, the, the whole thing was, the achievements we've gotten so far have been, like, pretty self-explanatory. Escape the cave, complete all domestic tests. But this one, this is the issue with, like, the achievements popping up after I'm done recording, after I'm done playing the game. Because I have no idea what this achievement means, because all of the achievements are quite cryptic. They don't really, like, mean anything if you don't know when you get them, which is a shame, because if this popped up when I did a specific thing, it would probably be a lot more obvious what I did to earn it. But it's called Doesn't Learn, and the subtext is Kids These Days. No clue what that means. If you know, let me know. Otherwise, I, I guess I can just look it up, like, eventually when I'm done with the game and all that stuff, look up what I did, and probably gonna have to get some help for the other achievements, if they're not, like, super straightforward. But yeah, so now, an old beverage machine, yep, and nothing more to that. Well, let's just place the glass jar, yep. Wait, what was that called? What was that called? Hold on. Did- I don't think it's saved. I'm gonna try this again. I feel like that might have been something wrong. I don't- I didn't quite read that. I- it looked almost like in just item code. Like level two, level underscore two underscore beaker or something. Yeah, we're right here. And- oh, I can't- I can't check my inventory or anything. But let's see. Cause that would be weird if like item names are all fucky because of the public beta. No, it says a broken glass jar. Did it say that before? I'm gonna have to check the footage. Maybe I'm just crazy. Probably. It secreted a thick syrupy liquid. Yeah, so it's like a sugary drink. And the bugs like it. Here, bugs, do you want some syrup? They are fixated on that machine. Alright. Okay. Alright. Oh! Oh, I see. And there too. Yeah, okay. An information panel about the animal that was kept in this aquarium. And same thing here. Yeah, alright. So now we can read about these. I see. Hive slug. Achievement! It popped up! And you can probably see it. Yeah, that's really nice. So, honestly, I think I'm, I'm just gonna go with a trial version in the bottom right. That's kind of annoying. I might even, like, shoot an email to the, the devs. I'm not sure if they're still active, the, the support emails or anything. But if it would be possible to play the public beta, but not have the trial version in the bottom right, that would be perfect, ideal. Also, by the way, I forgot to mention, apparently there's some sort of bug in the public beta with some, like, light effect that gets a bit fucky. Later on in the game, I think, it was like a spoiler, so I didn't read it too thoroughly, but... If it's just minor stuff that's not game-breaking, then... I'm, I'm gonna say it's worth it, because that's really nice to just know I got the achievement because I'm learning about the Hive Slug. And we can even, like, go in and check it and see... I have to refresh. Collect all logs. Wow. Really? That's all logs in the entire game? I guess this game might be pretty short. I thought it would be fairly long since there was the entire logs menu. Like, why would you even need the logs menu if there weren't that many logs? Huh. Maybe this won't be such a long series after all. Well, let's read it. Perhaps the most fascinating indigenous species we have discovered in the, is the hive slug. 
capable of growing to a tremendous mass, they will reproduce asexually when a suitable mate is not available. These enlarged hive slugs become colony queens, and they dwarf the drones which we more commonly see. A queen cycles through two biological stages, brooding and foraging. When she has sufficient nutritional reserves, a queen will produce a clutch of eggs, then enter a dormant state while they incubate. Once her eggs are gone, she will return to her foraging state, and this is perhaps the most compelling aspect of the species. The primary function of drones is foraging, and once they have consumed an adequate amount of food, they return to the queen and enter her body through an orifice at her base, okay. Drones will deposit the partially digested material and then return to foraging. The cycle then continues until the queen is ready to spawn a new clutch. So what am I like meant to take from this? What kind of information? Like, block off her fucking butthole? No clue. Jawfish! Oh, so that's probably gonna be, like, down... It probably swam down all the way to the, the flooded floors, maybe? At first glance, the indigenous jawfish is unremarkable. They become compelling when understood as creatures of extremity. While in proximity to a possible fertile breeding partner, Jawfish become fixated on one another and generally docile or docile? Docile? To other species. It is when they are in isolation, however, that they become extraordinarily aggressive. When testing their territorial ferocity, we separated them with metal gating. They bit right through the steel. This couple has been here for several years now and are quite safe. I see. So. If we run into one alone, it's fucking bad news, but we need to, like, rejoin them so that they just don't do anything. I see. And that's about it. I think that's about it. Everything we can do right here. Nothing to combust as far as I know. Detergent. Can I put this in here? No. Okay, well, I probably need to remember this, so... An open slot that reads detergent. So why would I need detergent? And what was this shower about? This is a weird thing. Yeah, I don't know what that's supposed to accomplish. Maybe nothing? Maybe nothing yet? We'll have to see. And yeah, this doesn't do anything. Don't have detergent, so I can't, like, clean off the blood. Guess we'll just go down here. Ooh, more mushrooms. And here's the fish. Right? Yep, there it is. That fish bit through solid steel to catch those insects. My armor would not withstand it. I will have to avoid the water. I see. Alright. What's down there? What is that? Am I not meant to see that? Tiny glowing insects. Here. Oh, that actually is what you do. And then the fish is gonna like jump out at them? No? Why did I do that? What What's the point? Uh... Oh! Oh, I see! Okay. I didn't realize I still, like, had it. So now he's, like, preoccupied? I guess? Oh, maybe I can just shoot him now. It is dead. I can safely enter the water now. Poor thing. Aw. Because there's, like, another one of them somewhere. And the beaker got destroyed as well. I can't look down into the water, only up. And I'm very slow. Can I jump? I can't jump. Interesting. A 
A system access panel. It is broken. This terminal's cables are severed, likely by that fish. I cannot interface with it manually. Okay. You may be able to network through the terminal and access the power matrix remotely. What does that mean? Oh. Didn't I do that first? I guess you had to, like, look at it first. Okay. Uh... Let's wait for now. Just one second. Let's just check what's over here. An elevator call button. Doesn't work. And that's it. That's all I can do. Yeah, alright. Guess I'll do it then. Drain more power. Or whatever I'm doing. Flushing. No clue. Oh, right. Connection. Whoops. Wait. I accidentally skipped the line, but I think it was just dot dot dot. Right? Or did I, like, frame perfectly skip, like, flushing engaged or something? Did it save? Because I kind of want to redo that in that case. Like, if it didn't save. Uh, should I just check? I'm just going to check. If it saved, then... No matter, but if it didn't, we can just quickly get back there and make sure I don't click anything. Yeah, I'm right here. Alright, good. Let's just quickly redo this. Here, insects. Could I not just, like, place the broken jar, like, right away? Yeah, insects. Couldn't I just place it on the plank right away? I guess not. Got it. Oh! In a barrel! Achievement unlocked. Let's check that. It's just like the first hit. Nice reflexes! I see. It's just like on the first jump. I, I guess you just kill it. Okay. Not bad. And we'll check here. Oh, I should have done the... Uh, I should have interfaced, like, first, just to check. Because it seemed like you had to... You had to check that first, and then interface. Nope, okay, I didn't skip anything. We just did that. So I guess we're just flushing out the water. A dead fish, no longer dangerous. Can't use it. Do I want to cut it up? I, apparently I do. Not sure why I'm cutting the fish up. I have gutted the fish. Carrying these innards will not be enough to fool its mate. I will need to coat myself somehow. What the... Why? How would I need to... How would I know to, to do that? Like, I knew there was a mate, but I didn't know that we would run into it, and I didn't know that we would have to, like, fool it in some way. I feel like, again, it almost should be... Restricted a bit more where I should get to the mate She should give some sort of hint at like I need to disguise myself with a familiar scent I don't even know like nothing that Obvious, but you get my point Because otherwise it's just like oh, I guess I just Kind of solved the puzzle now without actually meaning to just by adding one one together just oh dead fish Can we carve it? Yeah now we have this, and a second fish. I cannot enter the water while it's still hostile. I mean, we haven't tried what happens, like... Oh, it just actually doesn't let you. Okay, I thought it would at least kill you, but I guess not. I see. So now we have to go back and do something. Like, probably with a shower, I guess, maybe? Let's see. Oh yeah, probably like stick the innards in the detergent slot so that you shower and then like get that as your nice perfume at the end, maybe. I wonder why I can't just shoot it like the other one. She's a pretty good shot. She's a military droid. Shouldn't be all that difficult. Do you have anything new to say when I flushed it? Oops. Nope. Alright. Sorry, guy. 
Yep. The shower's detergent slot is filled with fish guts. Fantastic. Let's have a shower. I am now covered in a sticky substance that smells like fish innards. Lovely. And I can just do it again. Double the dose. Great. And that's it. Alright. Seems like I've completed most of the stuff on this floor now. And I can't, like, interface again here, right? I cannot interface. Huh. Okay. Why are there, like, cover boxes here? Are we gonna get into a fight? Like, on the way out? All those security droid things. I should be able to enter the water now. Oh, shit. The fish has become very affectionate. It is rubbing against my leg. Do I want to shoot it? I don't think I can shoot it. I mean, I guess that's kind of a good thing, maybe? Having a little fish buddy? Do I want to shoot this mushroom? Oh, I can look at it. A hearty mushroom cluster, likely nurtured by the steam from those pipes. Alright. And I can't shoot it. Okay. Hi again. And this cluster might start spewing gas. Nope. They don't. Do I want to talk to him? An elevator call button? Yeah, I can't do that yet. Alright. Let's access this then. That's rough. It was not an easy choice. Yeah. When we have the real power to choose, not just the illusion, it does something. Leaves a well, I'm not sure this is not an illusion of choice, because maybe nothing will change. Is that your choice too? Irrelevant. Uh... Let's just go for number one. to keep Joseph's alive. You did. Whatever you did, you kept yourself operating. That I did. It's hard to know how far to push the rules sometimes before they, you know, break. The rules are not meant to be pushed, except when necessary to enforce them. Can you even realize that makes no sense? We do push, and when they don't break, we're left wondering if we should have pushed further. Illogical. Maybe. Well, you ready for this? The same scenario? It is. Yep. All right. Guess we're doing it again. I have to make my choice. Mm -hmm. I mean, it kind of seems like he's just by far the more advanced AI than her, since he's actually thinking about like choice and rules and bending them and stuff. And she's much more rigid. Aw, fish friend. Fish friend, no! I can't even... Oh! Consider that a divorce. Achievement unlocked. What does that say? It's better to have loved and lost. I guess just because I put it out of its misery. That, that was my thought. It's kind of floating, though. I think I killed it, like, mid-jump. Which might not have been intended. Huh. Sorry, fish friend. Oops. Sorry. I see, and again. Oh, right here. Another large fungal col colony. Somehow its defense mechanisms are being suppressed. I see. Was it the water, or maybe because of... Maybe that's something I should take note of? Something here with a, like, steam maybe, or the water, or the mainframe is keeping them, like, not doing shit.
God, this, like, background sound is kind of making me go crazy. Holy shit. Hello, big mama. All right. That is enormous. It we is. The information on this in the lab where they were yeah, I, I already read about it. But, I mean, I didn't read anything about, like, how to kill it or if we need to. Just that it's... It's in a foraging period right now, because otherwise it wouldn't be accepting those... Oh, I can... Yeah, I can destroy all the eggs. Do I want to? I'm gonna do it. Maybe that'll change something. But I'm gonna not shoot... Oh. Oh. Well, maybe I shouldn't have done that. I will have to be cautious of possible damage. Oh dear. Hello? So shooting her does nothing, but shooting the eggs were a thing. I wonder if I could have, like, looked at her before. Maybe that was the only thing you could do? Yeah, okay. So what did that do? Like, what did I accomplish by doing this? I guess we just have to... Wait, hold on. Let's just make sure. Do that. Nope, nothing. Yeah, there's a terminal behind her. Huh. So, massive vibration. Does that do anything for me? Maybe that shook loose. Oh, hi. What are you doing? Oh, no. Oh, do I want to kill them? I'm just gonna kill them for now. I feel like... I wonder if there's, like, a thing you can do later on, like, in a different playthrough. I might be able to not... Like, make different choices. These don't hurt me, though. Slugs are feeding on these mushrooms. They are distracted by their food. I will not disturb them. I already have. Oh, shit. I see. I see. So, I wait for... Yeah, I want them to... Yeah, they take that to her. And then I have one of them take the other substance to her. And that will blow them all up. Couldn't I just have, like, chucked them in her face hole? It seems like it would have been a much easier thing to do. Do you say anything? Oops. He does not. So yeah, right here. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. That does not work. And I can't just stick it on here, right? They are highly volatile chemicals. Combining them here would be unwise. Yeah. It said something about the steam, though? Slugs are feeding on these damp mushrooms. The, that leaking pipe has enabled this cluster to grow quite large. So it's in the water. So if we can place it in the water, maybe upstairs, then that might get into the mushrooms and blow shit up. Right here. Right there. All right. Okay. Let's do it. Yep. Here we go. Goodbye. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. Holy crap. Regicide. Okay, and that's just like, what is that? Make a royal mess. I sure did. Can I look at her? I cannot, but now I can pass. I wonder if there were any choices there. It doesn't really seem like there were. I wonder. Oh man, I feel like this might take a while though. If this is like a big story thing, the mainframe, 
I think I might just end it here and we'll continue doing this next time. I don't know if the game is just gonna like end next time, but if it does, we have a ton of achievements to get and some questions to be answered in a subsequent playthrough and stuff like that. Might not end right now. That would be a very short game if it did. So we'll see. Who knows? Find out next time. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Thank you for watching, as always, and I'll see you next time, as I said. Bye-bye.